plus one, plus two, plus three and counting up. India has marked a significant milestone in its missile program with the successful salvo launch of two indigenously developed Pralay missiles conducted by the Defence Research and Development Organisation of the Odisha coast. The test saw both missiles fired back to back from a single launcher, meeting all objectives and confirming system reliability through tracking and telemetry. The salvo launch demonstrates more than technology, it signals war fighting capability. By firing two missiles within seconds, Pralay can overwhelm advanced enemy air defense systems such as the S-300 or the HQ-9, both in service with India's adversaries. Pralay's quasi-ballistic trajectory adds to its lethality. Unlike conventional missiles that follow predictable arcs, Pralay flies low and performs maneuverable re-entry, making interception extremely difficult. Strategically, it closes a long-standing gap in India's arsenal. While China fields the Dongfeng-12 and Pakistan deploys the Nasser, India previously relied on aircraft or the strategic Agni missile family for these tactical strikes. Pralay is designed for these tactical roles and places enemy bunkers, air bases and fuel depots within reach without risking fighter incursions. Pralay, the missile with a range of 150 to 500 kilometers, can carry different types of warheads and achieve an accuracy of 10 meters circular error probable or CEP, which means that 50% of missiles will fall within 10 meters of the target. Pralay's induction marks a strategic shift from deterrence to war fighting. With the integrated rocket force, the army gains independent deep strike capability, sniper missile capability to a range of 500 kilometers signalling both technological success and doctrinal transformation.